In ancient India had most advanced civilization and was ruled by powerful empires which discouraged invasions from neighboring unethical kingdoms and emerged victorious. Their glories could be heard afar. We have several literary or non-literary resources which educate us about our ancestors. There are several archaeological sites where we find evidences of ancient India's glorious past. It holds the glories of Indus Valley civilization and ancient kingdoms. The Parivrajka dynasty had ruled parts of central India during 5th and 6th centuries. Maharaja Samkshobha succeeded his father Hastin and inherited the entire ancestral territory under control of Parivrajka dynasty, including the 18 forest kingdoms. Like his father, he also made several land grants. He was a very noble and virtuous king and maintained ancient Varna and Ashram system. He is the last known of this dynasty. The end of Parivrajka rule probably coincided with the end of the Gupta Empire. Parivrajkas were followed by Olikara Empire. Inscription number 39 Betul Copper Plate Inscription of Samkshobha Gupta Year 199 Provenance, Betul, Betul District Madhya Pradesh It seems to have been brought there, possibly from Narasimpur where it may originally have been issued. Script Brahmi of the Northern Class Language Sanskrit English Translation of the Inscription Om Salutations to the Divine Narayana He In His Glorious, Augmenting and Victorious Reign In a century of years increased by 99, in the enjoyment of sovereignty by the Gupta kings, in the Mahamardasirsha year on the 10th tithi of the month Kartika, on this tithi specified as above by the year, month and day, by the Maharaja, the illustrious Samshobha, who is born in the family of the royal sage Parivraj Khasusarman, who had learnt the whole truth of the 14 receptacles of science, who like the great sage Kapila, knew all the first principles and who was of Bharadvaja Gotra, who is the great grandson of the son of Maharaja, the illustrious Devadya, who is the great grandson of the Maharaja, the illustrious Prabhanjana, who is the grandson of the Maharaja, the illustrious Damodra, who is the son of the illustrious Maharaja Hastin, who was the giver of thousands of cows, of many elephants, horses, gold and lands, who was earnest in paying respect to his preceptor, father and mother, who was victorious in many hundreds of battles, who sought to govern properly the kingdom of the Bhala together. With all the country, included in the 18 forest kingdoms, and whose fame was renowned through many good qualities, who is intent upon establishing the religious duties of the castes. Varnas and periods of life ashramas, who is a most devout Bhagavata, who is extremely devoted to ancestors, who causes the happiness of his own race by him for the purpose of increasing the religious merit of his parents and of himself. Half of the village Prastaravatka and a quarter of Dwaravatika in the province Vishaya of Tripuri. In the accordance with the usage of the specifications of their ancient boundaries, are granted by a copper charter as Agraharas to the Brahmana, Bhanuswamam of the Bharadvaja Gotra. A student of the Madhyandinavajasaniya to be enjoyed by sons, grandsons and descendants with the Udranga and the Uprikara. And with the privilege that they are not to be entered by the district Begar officers and troops, except for apprehending thieves and rebels. Therefore, even in future times, no obstacle to the enjoyment of this grant should be caused by those who are born in our family or by my feudatories. This injunction having been given, 
He who behaves otherwise, him I will consume with great contempt, even when I have passed into another body.